Yeah, I'm late. It's been three days and I haven't put up a vlog. Ugh. I was meant to do this every day, as you've heard in the last eight, seven, however many there are. Um, this is vlog nine. I'm Philip Gordon or Shoshua McGoy. Um, don't like, don't subscribe. If you like it, then watch more. Um, yeah, the reason why I haven't been on for the last couple of days is because a mate of mine, I like a brother of mine, a brother from another mother, um, he's come all the way from Essex to see me in Bristol, which if you looked at it on a map, it's pretty much the like east to west of the UK, kind of pretty much, because like Bristol, south of Wales, and uh, Essex is north of London, so it's... They're, pretty, they're opposite, let's be honest. Now he's come down and um, me and him, we went out and we had a great time. And that was on Friday. And then Saturday was a bit of a... That was a heavy one. I didn't realise how much I drank. All I know is that I woke up, threw up. I then... went back to sleep. But... Oh, Ain't it funny that you never learn your lesson from drinking? Like, once you're 18 and over, if you do drink alcohol, you do just get those moments where you just drink so much and you don't realise it. Although, something that said that, I did, like, say to a mate of mine, oh, I bet you can't get me drunk. And um, he, didn't even have to, he didn't even have to try. Like, that's... That's probably the worst thing about it, is that he just got me battered pretty damn quickly. Yeah, lesson learned. Don't tell someone that you can't, that they can't get you drunk, because they, they will. Um, but less about me. Um, I'm obviously tired. I am very tired. Um, I shall sleep. Uh, but before I do, I'm bringing this on and putting it up uh, to you guys. You guys need to, well, I say you need to. If you do watch me, like, not that I say don't, but show me to other people. You know, I say don't like and don't subscribe because everyone says subscribe like this and all this shit. But, like, yeah, if you see these and you think they're quite interesting, like, um, show me to other people. Or if you've got ideas. I'll do it, depending on what it is. Um, quick concept. Do you ever wonder, like, how can I explain this? Every day you're meeting faces, right? If you live in a village or town, um, or suburbia, city, um, or even if you like live in the middle of nowhere, like... There are people that stay around that area and you just know them. So you could be around the corner from a good friend of yours and you could know that without even knowing it. Um, but the thing that I query is, you know when you see planes up in the air, uh, what if one of your friends or even some families in that actual plane, um, which you don't know, you just like, or if you're in a traffic jam, or like if you're going down the motorway or something, you're on a bus, okay? You go past a car or something. Obviously, there are certain moments like you can look at a car and be like, yeah, that's X person's car. And you can know who it is. But then there are other times where you can, you'll be like sitting there and you'll be going past people that you know and you'll be like, won't even realise it. <laughs> and the other question is like, the older you get, and the more people you meet. So in theory, the more friends you make, and the more enemies you make. Just a thought. And I think the other thing is as well, that um, has come to mind is, people say they've got their best friends for life. Um, I mean, I know a couple of people that say best friends for now. Um, but what I'm saying is that people act on the present more than the present and upcoming future. I've got like five friends that I will never lose touch with. Never. Um, I'd never want to. But then you know people. I, like if you're watching this, I know you know people that have friends, that they're close friends with, 
and then they end up hating each other and then they don't talk to each other for anymore like people go out to other people and they say we're going to be best friends like till the day I die you know like you end up meeting up with friends in primary school secondary school high school uh, senior school uh, like college and then after that's gone and you go into work or you go into like university or whatever like it's not often that you keep in touch with them unless they're really good mates um, I mean I plan to travel the world and with that said, these five friends of mine, I'm still going to stay in touch, without a doubt, for sure. Because I, I love them. I love those people. I wouldn't be me without them. You know, they've been there for me every step of the way. And if you guys have got people like that, like, appreciate it. Because I definitely appreciate mine. Um, it's a nice thing to have. It's nice knowing that I've got friends who look out for me, you know. But people who are friends... At that moment in time, there's something, there's something about that. I don't know what it is. Anyway, I've been rambling on. It's like gone six minutes now, believe it or not. Um, I'm really cold. And I'm sleeping on a sofa that has been... That has been spewed on, that has been vomited on, that has been sick on. It was my sick, like, and I cleaned it up, but it's got a smell, and it's not nice, but self-inflicted, hey, oh, that's something I'm going to have to deal with, um, I will see you tomorrow, I'll, I'll do another one tomorrow, because I want to do this more often, um, I can't believe I, like, for, I can't believe I just didn't do one for the last two days, it's quite embarrassing, but, um, yeah, I'll do more. I will. It's gone seven minutes.